And Kansas is facing historic unemployment rates. You can see here on this graph behind me that the last available date is from April, this far one over here, which saw a huge spike during the coronavirus outbreak. Now there's more issues at the Kansas Department of Labor, which handles unemployment. That's leaving people without their benefits. And KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Corinne Griffith is live at the Capitol now to tell us about the latest problems in Kansas. Corinne? A change to the weekly claims process has left major issues for Kansans, and the Department of Labor is trying to quickly fix those problems. Luke Nola was furloughed in April and has been relying on his unemployment benefits to support his family. But Luke, along with countless other Kansans, was not aware of a change to the questions asked on the weekly claim form. So he filled it out the same as he has for the last 10 weeks. I got this one-year-old. He's constantly attached to me. So when I get on there, I... It's usually the same questions. Some, like Luke, didn't even notice the change. For others, the new questions were confusing. It asked if you were able to work with no restrictions in the last week. Many answered no because they couldn't find work. But they should have answered yes to say they were able to work had a job been available. Now they've all been denied benefits. And while the department did warn people of the changes on social media, some are saying that wasn't enough. I would have appreciated at the top if it would have said, you know, a warning that these questions are changed. Now the department is working to do a mass correction on all of the claims, which they hope to have completed by the end of the week. And we reached out to the department for a comment, but they were unavailable. But, Brooke, they do say that people should keep their eyes on their social media accounts, which is where they will be posting updates on this issue. Live at the Capitol, I'm Corinne Griffith, KSNT News.